now we are going to start the second part of the failure of the road known as the fatigue cracking fatigue cracking occurring upon the road due to the repetition of the row load over the road with the passage of time just let me tell you again this type of the cracking occurring upon the road during its service life due to the repetition of the cyclic load over time so then cracks are happening on the surface such type of the cracks are known as the fatigue cracking now over here this fatigue cracking is studied by the fatigue factor known as g star into sin delta is written over here fatigue factor is equal to g star by sin delta this is the g star and this is the multiplication by factor and this factor has been given by sharp in super pale specification it is used as an indicator for fatigue cracking clear it and when we say that it is a part of the specification whenever we use the word specification it means always its value is mentioned so so its maximum value mention is 5000 kpa or 5 megapascal here i would like to tell you one thing you know here i have written the value maximum why maximum it means i am at this extreme point if i exceed this point something will happen if i am at the lower side something will happen so so that is why one boundary point is defined this boundary point shows that if the test is performed the value is exceeding the 5 megapascal please try to understand again if the test is performed and the value is exceeding 5 megapascal it means i am going to the upper stage i am crossing this maximum value limit when this maximum value limit is being crossed it means some crack will happen on the road so this is the extreme boundary we will have to remain lower than this if we are in the lower limit it means this road which is made up of this material who is going to have the lower value is going to show the good behavior it will not show the cracks due to the cyclic application due to the repetition of the load no no to the fatty cracking okay now let me tell you here this g star by sin delta needs to have lower value please try to understand the lower value when we are in the lower value then material is in elastic phase when it is in elastic phase it means it is going to regain its original shape it is returning back why do you mean by returning back means no more cracks happening clear it now here i want to tell you one thing ke on which type of the material we are going to study this property on which type of the material we are going to study this property 
Okay. Here we have long term yeast material. What do we mean by long term yeast material? Means this material has gone through PAV testing, pressure age vessel testing. Sample is taken from the material which has passed through the PAP. This sample is used to study this property. Clear it? Sample from the PAV is used to study this property. And its study is done at intermediate temperature. Now let me explain to you intermediate temperature. My binder is PG 82 negative or 22. Clear? For this material I have to find out its intermediate temperature. How I will find out? 82 negative of 22 divided by 2 plus 4 it will become 60 divided by 2 plus 4 it will be 34 means with the DSR when I am going to study this property I will have to maintain the temperature of 34 Celsius so, so when we see this this value is steady at this temperature. That is why I just gave you this and I have explained it to you how I am going to take it. So this DSR value should be at this point. Next, as all of you know, okay, we have performed this test on the long term age. It means long term age material is more flexible as compared to the original binder. So, as so we can say that original long term age material, then polymer modified binder PMP. Here, this limit is defined okay, maximum 5 MPA. Five megapascal means its value should be less than this one. When I am going to test this, its value should be coming less than this one. As I have performed this test, I found its value coming out to be 2.5 MPA. It means my value is acceptable. This I am just giving you the example. So this long term age, if come over here this one, if the same is performed on the original binder, it will not be 2.5. It will be more than this one. Maybe I can say that 3.5. But it is still less than 5. Just for your understanding. Here, after the long term aging, material is going to show more elastic characteristics as compared to the original. Here I have given you one example. Next, this polymer modified binder are also going to show some good characteristics. I, although its value is not mentioned in the specification, it is only this value mentioned in the specification, but keep one thing in mind, polymer modified binder is the best. I will show good characteristics. I will show good fighting spirit against the fatigue cracking and against uh, uh, this uh, rutting resistance. So, so these are the just brief introduction in order to understand the fatigue factor, I have explained it to you and I also explained it to you that the lower value is required and specification limit is provided over here. If we are lower than the specification limit, we are on the safer side. If we have the original binder as compared to the long term age binder, long term age binder will show the good flexibility characteristics and similarly polymer modified binder will also show some good flexible characteristics. For, for
fighting against the fatigue cracking. So it was just brief introduction which I have given to you and I hope uh, after seeing this some of your concept will get clear otherwise if you have any question please let me know and I will explain it. Thank you for seeing this.